Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brit Justice and welcome back to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am in Far- I am in not Far Cry, no, I am in Star Trek Online today and I am playing some of the new content that is in the new featured series update called Incursion. This is Star Trek Online Incursion and today I am playing one of the new TFOs that are in Incursion. I'm going to play the Guillotine event. This is the Guillotine TFO playthrough. Now, this is part of the Star Trek uh, Insur- uh, ooh, Almost said Star Trek Insurrection. No, this is the Incursion update. And if you go to the Events tab, the event is called Borg Tesseract, part of that total event. And I have now played the mission called Taken by Surprise. So if you haven't seen it yet, there is a new mission called Taken by Surprise. I did a playthrough video of that mission. You can check that out on this channel. And in that video, I went over all of the new content that is in this new update. And if you go to the little helper icon, you will see that two of the new things are a task force, some new task force operations. And I will be playing one of those in this video and I will play the other one in another video. So this will be the guillotine event in this video. Now I will say I have played guillotine event. I have played it once. So I am familiar with this. This is not a blind playthrough but I will be recording it anyway so that I can give you some pointers and basically uh, show you how that goes. I do understand how it works now a little bit. Again, only played it once though. Now, I did have a good team when I played this, so we actually moved through it pretty smoothly and I don't know if that's what I'm going to get now. I'm hugging it, so we'll see. This event uh, goes toward the event. It says, Borg from the Mirror Universe are attempting to form a beachhead in our universe through one of the trans-dimensional vortices opening up across known space they cannot be allowed to succeed. So part of what we will have to do in this is to take down uh, spheres and things like that but what the uh, biggest part of this is there's these six capture points. They're like uh, points that you need to capture and hold and you need to defend those points and so what that requires is that we need to look around and make sure that when that when a point is getting attacked we need to go attack we need to go uh defend that position because this is a new tfo new people playing this may not know how to play it they may not understand that that's what we need to do so you're going to have to be on the lookout as a person who knows how to play this knows what to do uh, you're going to have to be the one that maybe flies around and helps things. Unless you just get a good team and everybody knows what they're doing, that's fine also. Now, if you are a very powerful ship, you should be able to hold a point by yourself. Um, but it is possible that you can blow up a lot in this TFO. I found that when I played this for the first time, a lot of ships were blowing up. Um, the new Borg do a ton of damage, especially to your hull strength. So you will want to pay attention to that, right? Uh, you can die very easily in this TFO, and that's going to be one of the biggest hurdles here. Other than just figuring out what to do. To bring their unit complex into your dimension. We will stop this. We must. To do so, we need to destroy ten dimensional conveyors on the surface of the unit complex. Once we have done so, we shall deploy stitching anchors around its perimeter to form a network with my vessel, the Harmony. The Harmony will project shielding to each deployed anchor. It will take time to fully energize the shielding, and the board will attempt to disrupt the process and disable the anchors. Do not allow this. When the anchors are fully shielded and projecting stitching beams to the Harmony, we shall energize the network. The vortex will be closed, Destroying the Unicomplex in the process. Through Harmony, we are secure. Through Unity, 
We are strong. So that is the basic premise of the TFO, and you might also on your own want to read these two options here, which tells you a little bit more about what you're going to have to do for the TFO. I do suggest reading that so that you are familiar with it. I am playing today on my main character, the Doctor, a science character. I'm in a Vern Temporal Science Vessel Tier 6X. And I also recommend leaving the chat up so that you can see if others are like this directing you to help, you know, defend certain places or things or whatever. So, yeah, keep an eye on everything and just see what's going on. Right now, the main goal is to take out uh, these transphasic torpedo launchers and cutting beam arrays. Everything that's on the surface of this uh, Unimatrix, basically. And then, sp specifically, these uh, beam array, tractor beam arrays. So all the things on the surface of this thing you want to take out. That one, that's what your primary focus needs to be. See, somebody blew up. So see how I'm flying around taking out all these things here? That's what you want to work on. There's one more over here I missed. A couple more over here. Just like that. Here's another one over here. There you go. See how that, that progresses it to the next step. So that's what you need to focus on. And now these are the six points I told you about that you need to capture and hold. Because they will... They will have enemies attacking them. And you need to hit the button. Don't forget to hit the button. Deploy Stitching Anchor. Now that, that starts... That starts, and then you just need to watch each one, and you'll see the levels here, and you need to see which ones are under attack, and you need to help your fellow man. Help your fellow, like this person, yeah, they activated that. And <laughs> now we just need to protect each one, right? You need to see the enemies flying toward them. Now we just need to protect these. Come on, get me there, there we go. So basically, that is what you're going to be doing. A lot of this. Alright, now, see, as this one's protected, now I can fly around and see if any others need help. Like, maybe this person over here needs help. That person needs help. These people need help. I have to help them get there as fast as I can. See, Stitching Anchor 5 is disabled. We let that one down. So I'm going to get over here to this one as quickly as possible and redeploy it. There we go. Okay, and I guess there's other optionals here too. Stop escaping Borg Assimilators. If you can stop the Assimilators... That's good, but see, nobody's over here on four. If I don't get the four, I mean, we're not going to make progress. It's disabled, so this is where you have to sp split up, and you really have to keep an eye on everything. Now. 
Yeah, the idea is to make sure all of these points are activated. If they don't activate, you're not going to make progress. But also, if you can stop these assimilators, that is goes toward a bonus, right? So I need to help this person over here. We'll do that. Okay, so now let's see where we need to head. Oh, right here. This one is under under attack. Somebody else blew up. Okay, we're good on this one. Probes though are coming. I got the probes, so we're good. Oh crap, we got a sphere. Oh, this is the only one left, so that's good. Come on, there we go. Okay, we just need to protect this one. This is the only one now. Stop assimilators and protect this one. I'm the only one on this one too, it seems. Nobody is here. <laughs> Just me. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on. Activate. Activate. It's almost activated. Okay, we're good, we're good. I think we're good. Okay, cutscene. It goes to a cutscene here, and I'll see Observe. what happens. Something is disrupting the stitching network. They're gonna do, do, uh, bring out some cubes now. Uh, we have the bigger cubes to deal with. Two ships have blown up. Destroy them both to stabilize the network. All right, now just bring it all to bear, right? Bring it all to bear. We have uh, two cubes. They're both tactical cubes. Let's see, they're 4.6 million health. There's other things going on too. Stop the Borg from disrupting the stitching network. Destroy tactical cubes. We have so much happening right now. Okay, I think that should be it. Let's see, did we get all the optionals? Look at that, we got all the optionals. Yeah, we did it, that was successful. Good game, thank you. Oh crap, I'm not in a team. So let's take whatever we want, rewards here. One daily progress toward the Borg Tesseract featured event. 
All right, let's see how we did. So we did, oh, uh, we didn't get all of them. Stitching anchors protected four out of six. So we didn't protect all of them. Yeah, a couple of them got taken out. That's right. Um, we did get all the escaping assimilators destroyed, six out of six. So people were working on that. That wasn't me. I did one of the assimilators, but I guess everyone else did the other ones. Total marks, 100. Time taken is 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, but it's a shame that we let two of the anchors go down. So almost, almost all of it. Almost all of it. But that one's a pretty tough TFO. So guillotine, gu guillotine TFO. What can I say about that? Well, it's very big, very complicated, takes a lot. It can take a lot of time. Let's say that you are very uncoordinated and you let the anchors get taken over a lot. That part could take you a lot of time. And so that's going to mean, yeah, this could be a long TFO. But if you don't do that, and if you do a good job and protect those and fly around and make sure you're, you know, protecting all those points, um, under 10 minutes, you could do this. We did it in 10 minutes. I think you could do it in under 10 minutes. So that's about the time you're looking at if you can do a good job. That's probably about an average run time, around 10 minutes. But otherwise, it could go on for extremely long if you have a very uncoordinated team or if you don't have a lot of DPS on your team. Uh, those tactical cubes at the end are like four point something million health health there. They're pretty 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 intense. So that could uh, take you a long time to wear those two tactical ships down at the end. The other part you could foul up is at the beginning. Uh, you could focus your team, or you would focus potentially so much on the spheres that you don't take out all the platform things on the uh, Unimatrix. You need to actually take out those dimensional points that you're supposed to take out and there's cutting beams and transphasic torpedoes or whatever you need to take out all those points do that first don't worry about the spheres take that stuff out first then deal with the spheres because that will progress you to the next step which is protect uh, capture the anchor points and hold them and defend them but then once you do that then it's just the two tactical ships at the end and you're good but that's guillotine. I'm very interested in what you guys think of that uh, new TFO. If you haven't played the new mission, it won't make a lot of sense. So I suggest I suggest playing Taken by Surprise first. That way you are familiar with the storyline. Uh, again, you can watch my playthrough on this channel. I got a full playthrough of it. So that is there for you as well. And then this was the new guillotined TFO event in Star Trek Online as part of the Star Trek Online Incursions featured content season update, you would call it, as part of the Borg Tesseract special event. Yeah, it's all, there's a lot of events and a lot of names for a lot of things here. But basically, that's the new TFO for the new event going on. So enjoy that. Let me know what you think of guillotine. And tell me in the comments below, how many times did your ship blow up? How many times were you destroyed? I didn't die once, but how many did you get destroyed? Uh, that, that's what I'd like to know because uh, ships that uh, are a little more like glass cannons, you could say, I could see them blowing up quite a bit. So I'm very interested to hear that kind of feedback because uh, these Borg hit hard. They do. They hit hard. There you go. That is my playthrough of the guillotine TFO. I will play the other one and you will see a video for that on this channel as well. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next one.